It was interesting to hear you say fat adaption isn't the same as keto adaption. Seven months in, I assume I am fat adapted, but possibly not keto adapted. I can smell acetone in my urine, but this is relatively recent. I'm wondering if it means I'm not keto adapted. Any other clues? Yeah, quite possibly, Susan. I mean, what, what you could do is is test your um, blood levels of ketones. Um, because what will happen when you are become when you have become keto adapted is these will be low, believe it or not, because the body is upregulated to the point the monocoboxlet transporters and the enzymes BDHA, Cat and Scott have become so efficient that there's less in circulation. So you could test that way. Uh, again, it's I mean seven months. It, I've seen people take as long as twelve and beyond to become fully adapted, depend on where they're coming from and how they've incremented these changes. So it's, um, you know, when we talk about keto, many people start with uh, going low carb and then, you know, prioritizing the removals of grains and seed oils, but still consume other things like uh, bell peppers and tomatoes, for example, which are high in lectins, which will still bind to the insulin receptor and cause problems. Uh, nuts and seeds can be highly problematic. Um, we, you know, Steve mentioned the walnuts being high in linoleic acid, again, phytic acid and the lectins found within. So it depends on how strict you've been for how long. Um, but seven months isn't long, so just keep on pushing. But, you know, it would come back again to what Steve said earlier. How do you feel? If you feel fantastic, then, you know, it doesn't matter. If you're looking to upregulate the adaptation process, there are a number of things that you can do. Um, you can do um, uh, uh, explosive type uh, resistance training like high rocks um the or sprints but i wouldn't recommend sprinting unless you're running already um you could do bursts on the um, ski erg or the rowing machine or a bike 